this is the second lesson on the pentatonic scale. Um, please check out the first pentatonic lesson for more details on the pentatonic scale and, and ways to get to know it. Uh, this one, I'm just going to talk about uh, just a basic shape, and it's the second shape I'd like to go over. Um, the last one was the E string root scale with your index finger on the root. And so now this one, I want to stick with the E string root, but now we're just going to go to the pattern that comes below it. And so now your ring finger is on the root. Um, and so basically this pattern goes like this. Uh, we're going to start with our ring finger on the fifth fret. And that's the root of the core of the scale. And we're just going to go back one finger per fret, index, ring. And then the next string is index ring. And then we shift over one fret and it's index pinky. Index pinky again. Shift back a fret, index ring. And index ring again. Uh, so this pattern is pretty easy to remember because it's kind of a mirror image of itself. The uh, low three strings and the high three strings are exactly the same, just same, just kind of like a mirror image. So I'll go over it again in frets. So this is in A, and so first the sixth string is three five. Then the A string, the fifth string is three five. Then the fourth string D is two five. The third string G is two five. And the second string B is three five. And the first string is one three five. Sorry, three five. So that's the pattern. Um, it's good to get to know it up and down. And since these pentatonic scales are two notes per string, they're great for practicing your alternate picking. So you can go down, up, down, up, down, up, and, and backwards. Again, sequences are great. Um, this pattern in particular is used a lot um, with the uh, pattern in the first video I did. And it's used for kind of going down at the bottom of the scale. Like if I were to start up here, instead of going that way in the one box, uh, it's really common to shift down. It's just kind of an easy way to get lower. So it use, utilizes the E and A strings of this new pattern. Um, and that's really common. Um, another th ways you can use it is in fourths. Um, it's really nice because the first two strings are the same. So you can kind of do, you know, symmetrical thing. Uh, same with the uh, next two strings. And then, you know, these two. That's how the two scales fit. Um, anyways, have fun with it, and I'll see you in the next one.